Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome to my fourth tutorial on Python using Jupyter Notebook. So today I'm going to be teaching you two really cool new features that you can use in Python. So the first thing is the one that I've written right in front of you. So what this essentially does is it takes an input from the user. Alright, so this is slightly different from the uh, kind of code we've been writing in our previous videos as you can see they were static code uh, so we really weren't taking any input from the user but we just were writing the code and getting the output whereas this is a more interactive kind of a coding a way where we take the input from the user and then based on the input write our output so this is more interactive and this is called dynamic coding so as you can see I've used a function called input this is a new function but it's very intuitive to understand input basically takes input from the user all right so that's the basic function so just write the function input and then within the brackets type whatever you want for example I type uh, a question here that is what is your most favorite Netflix series you can just take any kind of an input from the user maybe you can take a value of a variable that you want to take from the user and add those values later on so it's that it's really that simple and once you're done with this you just have to do a little small thing that is store the value the user has inputted it into a variable because you want the value to be stored somewhere so hence I have used this variable called tuna you can just use any name I use tuna whatever right all right so let's start by answering the question what is your most favorite netflix series my most favorite netflix series is dark which is a german 2017 time travel sh series they've just released season one and they're going to be releasing season two soon can't wait for it i'm not trying to promote dark here just saying that it's a great series you guys must check it out anyway once you type in just press enter and it got saved in your variable so how do you verify that it got saved? You just print it out and use the variable name tuna and run it and there you go. So now you have the value dark in the variable tuna. All right. So now coming to the second part of the video, uh, the second thing that I want to be teaching you is string manipulation. All right. So uh, let's put a comment. The last video I taught you how to use comments, right? So let's say string manipulation. Oh, great. What's the spelling, guys? I hope I got that right. All right. So this is called string manipulation. So let's say I had the variable uh, tuna, which has the value, uh, which has the string dark. But uh, let's say I want to print out the first letter of the string. All right. I don't want the whole string. So it's a very simple way for this. You just have to write print tuna, but you just have to open these curly brackets uh, I'm sorry square brackets and press the number zero and magic you get the letter D only the letter letter D and not the whole word so what's happening here so basically what's happening is that zero is basically the position of the first letter here so basically when a string is stored in Python it gives it a kind of a position so the first letter that is stored gives a, is given the position zero, second is one, third is two, and so on. All right, I've displayed it on the screen for you to have a better understanding of it. So you guys have to always remember this. It always starts from zero, all right? So if I put one here and run this, I get A and so on. There's a really uh, better and cooler thing that you can do with this. Uh, tuna, and let's say, and I put this colon here and run it and I get a r k arc all right so what's happening here is that uh, we know what one does all right tuna one gives out the letter a but what semicolon does is it gives out all the letters ahead of the letter a and prints the whole thing together all right so no matter how big your string is it is going to print the whole thing all right so that's a pretty cool thing uh, here we had the string called dark so it printed out ARK suppose we had a string called darkness then it did what I have printed out arcness leaving out D all right so that's a pretty cool thing uh, and there's one more really cool thing that you can do and that is typing negative letter uh, numbers here and you get the last letter all right so there are two ways to do this you can either do minus one 
or you can go for 0, 1, 2, 3. You can go for 3. That's going to print out the same letter. So what's happening here is that minus 1 is basically the representation for the last value, the last character in your string. No matter how big your string is, the last character is always going to have the value minus 1. So here I had to count 0, 1, 2, 3. You may have a really big string. You will not have the patience to count each and every letter to see what is the last character, what's the number of the last character. So that's why you have this really simple feature where you can just start minus one and there you go, you have the last character. And yes, I know you, what's your next doubt? And I'll be clearing it right now. When you run it, yes, minus two is R, minus three is A and yes, minus four is D. Pretty friggin' cool, right? So you, you can play around with this even more. I'm not going to be dwelling uh, into it too much, but you can look at, uh, you can look at my description. I, will, I have added some more pieces of code. You can play around with it, um, but the basic understanding of that is what I've explained to you right now. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. We'll be meeting you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.